GTX GTX GPUs RX RTX GTX GPUs RX RTX GTX GPUs RTX GTX GPUs RX RTX GTX GPUs RX RTX GTX GPUs RX RTX GTX GPUs RX RTX GTX GPUs Yo, what's up, everybody? What's up, Mike Red Fox? Happy Sunday evening or Monday morning or wherever you're from. Thanks for being here. Thanks for coming to hang out. Let me get myself set up here, see who we got. I already saw some names in the chat. Thanks for coming to hang out, everybody. Let's see. Let's do a little roll call action, get some more time for people to jump in here. And um, you guys know how I do it if you've been here before. Throw any questions you got in the chat, just tag me at Red Fox Crypto and I'll do my best to answer them. I got a few things that I want to do tonight, a couple of things I want to unbox with you guys, a couple of deals I found, and then just tracking some GPU pricing. But as always, you guys drive a lot of this content. So looking forward to, to hearing from you. Oh, and I have a poll going. If you guys didn't see the poll, the question is, is your mining setup mostly AMD or NVIDIA, or do you have a pretty even split between the two? I'm, Curious to see right now, NVIDIA is leading the charge and we got over a hundred votes in there. So I was counting mine too. I got to finish figuring out what I, where I'm uh, leaning towards one way or the other. Mike the Miner, what's up? Uh, Why a 2K Anonymous? What's up? Travelers Travels, what's up, dude? Magic Lucky, thanks for being here. Dakota Miner, Red XT. My back hurts from shoveling snow. Dude, I got you. Over here where I am, East Coast, we got, I don't know, we'd get like a foot and a half, almost two feet. The wind blew so much of it because it was like blizzard conditions so i mean some areas is probably three four feet high uh with just the wind blowing it so that was that was yesterday getting myself dug out um tps miner my hero so dude thank you so much this because of the snow i wasn't able to go to my po box to pick up what you sent me uh, but i will and i'll let you know and we'll settle everything out but dude thank you again man i owe you big time Automatic K Beats, what's up, dude? Thanks for all the support as always. Gordon Murray. Drowsy, what's up? I love you too. Mrs. Red Fox, thanks for being here. Karen, what's up? K-Spec, what's up, buddy? Thanks for being here. NC Mining, all Brent. Red Llama, what's up? Chump Change, what's up, dude? Mining Office, Mauricio. Michael, <laughs> Michael Tech, Lucas, <laughs> Forehead, what's up? <laughs> What's up? Uh, technology, what's up, dude? Thanks for coming to hang the other night, too. I had a blast chatting with you and everybody else in that voice chat. Uh, man, what's up, everybody? So many people here. It's great. Thanks for coming to hang out. Man, Vera, what's up? Rylan, oh my God, I'm getting tired. Shadow, what's up? Yandy. Man, what's up, everybody? Woo. 
Ooh, Mike Swan. B, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to you. <laughs> What's up, dude? Swinney, what's up? What are you saying to me already? All right. Please change your GPU fan speed. I hate how it keeps turning it on and off. Set a little higher so it doesn't turn off and wears out faster. What? Oh, this one? Dude, actually, you know what? I have it set. Um, it's funny. I have it set to look cool in the live stream <laughs> at 39 fan speed, but I guess it's not enough, man. We'll go 58. I feel good about that number. Or else you might have unsubbed right there, man. <laughs> Crypto Carpet, what's up, dude? Long time no see. Mining's going as it's gone. I mean, it's still great. It's still great. Depending when you got in, I still feel really good about it all. Uh, Yandy, what's up? Welcome. Thanks for coming to hang out. Joey the Saint, what's up, dude? Woo! Von Nick, hey from Australia. Rude is from the EU. Wow, this is crazy. New England Crypto, John Lemon, what's up, dude? Really got an awesome, awesome group here tonight. Smash the like button if you don't mind. Mauricio from Brazil. Oh my God, <laughs> you guys are getting me tired already. Um, DJ Death Star, do you have any videos for new folks who are just getting into crypto? I have my gaming computer and I got a good deal on a 3070 Ti for 1K. Not sure to set it up. Uh, yeah, I actually, I do. Um, I do have a, a video to get you started. Join my Discord though, and I can link you to it. You can even DM me if you'd like. I have a video I haven't posted yet that might be really helpful. Um, join my Discord and I'll, I'll send it over to you, man. Links uh, in the description of this video and every video. Arnaldo, there's the question. What are you drinking tonight? So cheers to anybody who's drinking. I got some scotch. Um, and this is specifically the brand Jefferson's. Um, and the type it is, is aged at sea or, or ocean. So it's aged in the ocean in barrels, which is really good. Uh, and I love it. So cheers, anybody. If you are drinking, let me know what you're drinking. I already see Aztec Jedi's got a blue moon. Hope you got some uh, orange in there, dude. Crypto Pope, what's up, dude? Got some more Australias in here. Austin, Texas, what's up, man? You guys got, what's your power down there? I know Texas is pretty cheap on power from what I what I hear. Got East Tennessee, nice. Been to Tennessee, been to Austin. <laughs> Uh, unboxing project. What's up, buddy? Thanks for being here. Warren, what's up, buddy? Woo, man. Yeah, Jefferson's Ocean Barrel Age. Thank you, Mrs. Red Fox. <laughs> All right, yeah. Can we get a liquor poll? Yeah, dude. When I uh, when we finish this one up, I'll do a liquor poll. So we'll do sh maybe we'll do like beer, cocktails, or straight, or none. <laughs> I got some chocolate milk. Nice. Red Fox Jr. loves his chocolate milk. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Monday morning drinking apple juice with my five-year-old. I got you, man. Hope you have a great week, buddy. Hope you have a good Monday. Oh, man. Uh, Joe asks, I've had my Hive OS lock up a few times. Where can I find logs to see what caused it to hang? What, when, you, when you say lock up, did it just freeze completely? Did it reboot? One of the best things to do is probably leave a display uh, plugged in so that you can, you can see the miner or see any logs in real time where it freezes. Hobbyist, what's up, buddy? Yeah, dude. So essentially you're paying seven cents per kilowatt hour over in Texas. That is, that is sick. White, rod, White Rabbit Mining, what's up, dude? From Ohio, been there. Southwest Florida, you're paying eight cents. Man, my electric rate has just gone, like slowly gone up <laughs> over the last few years. I got to shop around. Hello from Bulgaria. What's up, buddy? Thanks for being here. Got some Jack Daniels, got some beer. Um, Swinney says GPU prices in Australia are starting to fall. Yeah, they're, they are falling a little bit. We, we're going to check that out in a second. I was actually surprised to see how much some of them have fallen. It's not drastic, but I was uh, I was surprised. Jay Ryan, good morning from Philippines. What's up? 
Do I taste the salt from the ocean age? Uh, no, I don't. Status flow. What's up, dude? Thanks for being here. Mr. Miles, my dude. What's up, buddy? Uh, earnings jumped today and last night. Did you also get that? I, I saw, I didn't get to look into it, but I saw there were some pretty big, um, not huge, but bigger than normal Ethereum blocks. Uh, so that might be causing it. But I didn't get to look into that much. Here in Alberta, you can get seven cents Canadian per kilowatt, but the distribution charges bring it up to like 13 cents. Yeah. Cheap power, man. Whew, that's the way to do it. Any questions you guys got? We'll roll some questions for a little while. Just tag me at Red Fox Crypto. It could be anything uh, that, you, that you'd like. Uh, and then if we run out of stuff to talk about, I got some GPUs I found that are available, some power supply deals, uh, and then we'll track some GPU prices. Oh, and I got some stuff to unbox, so we'll, we'll have to do that for sure. Unboxing projects. Electric in Georgia is $0.08 cents in winter, but 11 in summer. Yeah, mine goes up in summer as well. And obviously, electric prices are on everybody's mind right now because you live and die by electric prices. There have been people that I've talked to in other parts of the world outside the U.S. that are paying like 50 cent per kilowatt hour, uh, and they've had to turn off their mining rigs already. You know, they're maybe running some older cards, um, 580s, less efficient cards, but yeah, they've had to turn them off because they're just not profitable. And that's just the way it goes. So what will happen is with mining, uh, GPU mining, especially since there's so many residential miners in comparison to ASIC mining, you get phased out based on your electric costs. And that's kind of how like everything kind of happens. So 50 cents sound like you're already phased out if you're paying, if you have some older GPUs. And then if the prices come down and difficulty keeps going, then that's just, you know, rinse and repeat and it'll drop, drop, drop and drop. And I was saying this, I think, on the mining roundtable that's coming out this week. Last bear market, when you're talking like 20, I guess, end of 2018, 2019, um, residential, like broke, break even was around nine, 10 cent electric rate. Anybody else? And that's with the most efficient cards you could have. Anybody else was turning them off. All right, let me catch up here. No Lopez. Hey, Red Fox. Greetings from Texas. Saving up some money to start my own setup. I subbed and will keep watching and learn more. Thanks, man. Thanks for coming. Good luck. Just let me know if you need anything. Join my Discord. Really good group in there. I'm active in there. Help you out. Uh, point you in the right direction. My biggest piece of advice is do your own research. So many amazing content creators put stuff up on YouTube. But if you get stuck anywhere... Please ask, and we will absolutely help help you out. But thanks for coming to hang with all of us. It's an amazing community, so you're you're a welcome part of it. Uh, Jay Ryan, since part of your strategy is selling ETH weekly, do you use or have you used the Polygon network to cash out? I haven't uh, used Polygon. I use still just the regular way to get payouts from Ethermine. Um, I set my payout threshold high, though. So... I actually have, again, getting a silly amount of ETH sitting on Ethermine because my um, payout way fee is set to 40, and we have not hit that in a while. So I have a lot of ETH sitting on there right now, which isn't great, but I'll still sell weekly even if I don't get that week's payout. Maybe right now I'm probably over a month since the last payout, um, but I'll just continue to, to sell a little bit. Um, and if you guys don't know, if you haven't, if you're new, my strategy, I'm always very transparent. It's worked out really well so far, fingers crossed, is um, any new ETH that I generate from mining, I sell every week. I sell 50% of that until everything is paid off. Once everything's paid off, don't need to sell any of it. I'll just hold it. Um, and some people get like freaked out by that. They're like, don't you believe in crypto? I'm like, yeah, of course. And I'm saving 50%. And as well as I have all of the ETH from the last three years that I've sold almost none of during that whole bear market. So it's just the new ETH when the bull run happened and prices started to really fly that I was converting all of that to USD. So, you know, I've sold uh, some Ethereum as low recently as what are we at? Like $2,500 and I've sold Ethereum as high as over $4,000, you know, and it's just 
the decision I made to kind of dollar cost average out of um, crypto into USD so I could pay all this stuff off. That's it. Let me catch up on chat here. RJ Hall, how much would you pay for 5,700 XT right now? Actually, I think I'm going to sell mine, man. The Jazz Miner, dude, I haven't, uh, Yandy, I haven't looked into that yet. Residential is 11 cents. Nice. Hobbyist, you hit your payout threshold at 55 today. Nice, man. Hagen, what's up, buddy? Thanks for, thanks for being here. Hagen, you're barely awake? All right, well, we better get to work in a second. Andres, what's up, dude? Thanks for coming, Alberto. What's up? Um, uh, Gandalf, having trouble upping your payout on two miners. It says invalid IP address, even after copying it from the link. So if it's anything like Ethermine, it's got to be the public IP address of that rig that it's looking for. So best thing to do is, um, go to that rig and do like a, what's my IP address.com from that rig itself that it's looking for. Uh, Charles, you said you don't mind flux anymore. Another channel mentioned you have a flux node. Okay, to steer new newcomers with four to six gigabyte cards in my flux. Flux is amazing. I just mind it for so long that I currently don't mind it. Plus, I like from everything I've seen. You guys, let me know if I'm wrong. Um, and I was going to do a video on this, but it's just so much work. For everything that I've seen, like the 30 series cards don't do great on it. And I got rid of almost all my old cards. I don't have any 20 series cards, which seem to do really good, especially like the 2080. Um, and the 10 series cards seem to do pretty well. And I got rid of all of those as well. The only one I have left is a 10, a regular 1080. But from what I remember, they don't do great on six. It doesn't do good on 16 series or 30 series, but let me know if I'm wrong. Um, but I, I know a bunch of people in my discord have been testing it on all those cards. And it just seems like the 20 series cards are great. And I don't know if it's the miners that have to be optimized, like the mining software like G minor and mini Z, or if it's the algorithm, it's based on Equihash. If that needs to be tweaked, um, I'm really not sure what it is, but that's why I haven't really mined flux because I've mined it for a long time. I run a node that's generating flux. Um, and I'm excited cause I'll be able to even expand that further with their new node structure. But I just, I feel like the 30 series don't do well on it, but I could be wrong. So please let me know. Are you still buying GPUs? Yeah, I am. Actually, want to do it? Let's do, let's do it. So, show you what I've gotten. Let me uh, clean up a little bit here. We'll do some of this while we chat. So, still buying GPUs? Yeah, I got. Two boxes here and one I got to pick up soon. Let's see what you guys are saying about Flux. Flux is too much work. Flux uses way more power. Yeah. Can you use Awesome Miner on an Octominer case? I saw this question come up actually in that video. I'm pretty sure it should be fine. You just got to install Windows on that SSD. Um, but it, the, the built-in high features are so cool. So I guess you probably wouldn't be able to control the actual Octominer case. And you might lose out on that LCD display, I'd imagine. So I'm not sure if it would be worth it. But what you could do is run HiveOS on it. And then I actually have a video I made, and I'll release it soon. Uh, it's been made for like two weeks. Um, how you can monitor your HiveOS rigs in Awesome Monitor. You can't control everything, but you can at least see profitability, temperatures, fan speeds, hash rates, all of that. Um, and if anybody's not familiar, Awesome Miner is a great application to use to monitor and mine on windows and you can do remote management and all that and hive os obviously is a linux based complete mining operating system but there is a way to make them work together which is exactly what i do charles elliott thanks dude thanks for the super chat five bucks man appreciate you thank you thank you thank you 
Are you mining profitably on any LHR cards? Yeah, man, for sure. Uh, Ethereum's still profitable on LHR. Uh, and then I got uh, Solo Mining Firo on my 3060s. 2060 Supers are great on Flux. I've heard that. All right, let's see. Oh. See what we got. You guys, sorry if I missed your question. Chat's moving. Um, if you really want me to see it, you throw a super chat in, but absolutely no pressure. Or uh, I become a member of the channel. Use a membership thing to get it up there. Otherwise, I'll do my best to get back in there. So the question was, you still buying GPUs? So here's one I got. It's a pretty good price. I actually don't have this one yet. So I'm pretty excited about it. Hobbyist, did you get one of these? I think you got one of these too. Gigabyte, 6600 XT. Is this an Eagle, I think? Yeah, Eagle. Actually, I know Gigabyte, you feel away, but I actually really like the Eagle cards. I think they're sentimental to me now because the first 30 series card I got and one of my first YouTube videos was a 3060 Ti Eagle. So I think they're just a little sentimental. So that was a good price. I didn't want to pass it up. I think it was a little over 500. Uh, did you listen? A uh, new crypto coin called Altheum. Yeah, I saw that. I don't, I don't know. I don't have time to look into these things. You guys let me know if it's good. I'm going to end this poll. If you haven't voted in the poll, go vote. You got one minute. Like an, all right, let's see. Augmentation of power with solar. I don't, I can't get solar, man. I got these like 200 year old, like five story tall oak trees that shadow my house. And I, I just can't bring it to myself to get rid of them. Plus, I don't even know how much of a dent solar would put in this setup. Next house though, for sure. I want to do it. PCM, did you hit five giga hash already? Real close, dude. Real close. Real close. Actually, if I... If everything that was up right now was on ETH for sure, and then all the other graphics cards sitting around over that. Um, Edits, thanks for the super chat. I'm going to see how I can translate this, my dude. Let's see. Give me one second, everybody. I want to answer your question, but I can't read it. Let's see if Google helps me out here. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it said, does your courier hate you? <laughs> That's really funny. Yes. Dude, there's GPUs coming to my house so often. Oh my gosh. And then the PO box definitely doesn't like me. Every time I go there, they're just like, they got to bring some huge box out the special door for me. Oh, that's funny, dude. Thanks, Edith. Thanks for the super chat. Oh, that's funny. Ooh, unboxing project. Should I keep the A2000s order or cancel and get the 6600 XTs? Dude, I have them. You're probably shot BLT with me. And I got the same estimate pushed all the way to July. And I was in the first 100 orders and it's killing me. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it and see what happens. They don't, I don't, did they charge you yet? Do they charge you? I don't even know if they charge yet. Red, Red coin, what's up? Hi to, hi, Mrs. Red Fox from Junior Red Fox. Any chance we get to see both of them in the coming future? Maybe one day. Red Fox, he, uh, he was, Red Fox Jr. was funny today. I had him down here and he went in my tool chest and grabbed a screwdriver and said, the GPUs and the grow temp were broken that he needed to go fix them. And I was like, please don't take that screwdriver in there, buddy. There's like 45 GPUs in there. That's funny. Mike Swan, all 30 series gigabyte cards gave me nothing but heat issues. 20 series ones have been amazing though. Yeah, man, I'll say my 10 series, all the fans failed eventually. Hobbyist knows. Um, 20, uh, I didn't have any 20 series. 16 series, rock solid. Like actually my, one of my favorite rigs, I did a video on it. It's like at the time it was my all time favorite mining rig, eight, 16, 60 TI gigabytes. Absolutely rock solid. 30, 60 TIs, killer, 30, 70s, killer. And then once you get to the 30, 80s and 30, 90s, 
Uh, horrible, horrible because the thermal pads and the 13090 I have just doesn't, or 3080 I have full hash rate gigabyte just doesn't, it just doesn't hash as high. It only gets to like 96 mega hash before crashing with pads replaced and everything. So, Shadow that uh, Chop LT doesn't charge till the product arrives. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it on there. See what happens. I I cannot believe I didn't get an a uh, A2000. I have had three orders in at three different places. One canceled on me. One is still pending. L2 well, are still pending. All right, let's see what else we got here. Keep answering that question. Are you still buying GPUs? Anything else you guys want to know, just uh, at me in the chat, and I'm going to end this poll. All right, so mining setup, mostly NVIDIA. So 276 votes. Vote was mostly for NVIDIA. Uh, 63%. I'm, let me count. I got 8, 12, that's 20. 8 plus 7, 35. 35 AMD cards mining. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So I have 42 in total with 35 mining right now. So I'm still heavy. I'm still... The winner is still NVIDIA for me. And I I have way more AMD cards than I've ever had before. The, oh, so um, I don't know if I said it, but the 6600 XT I just opened was just up on Newegg. Anybody could buy it. So if there's a motherboard in there, you guys know this is a combo deal. So I'll add this uh, with the other motherboards from the Newegg shuffle. Up on this shelf here. <laughs> oh man. But this was the win of the week that I'm super stoked on. Let's see, you guys can see that 3090 gigabyte gaming OC. Super stoked on that. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna bother mining with it until I replace the thermal pads. Um, and actually, I have the exact same card still in the box, over on the shelf. Um, and then I got the Founders Edition 3090 sitting in my PO box again. Thank you for that, my dude. Um, so that'll be. I think I can do a whole rig of 3090s now, which is really exciting. So I'm. I'm really looking forward to that. Or I might need one more. I can't remember. But yeah. So that's GPUs for the week. So stoked on this 3090. Man, as you guys know, if you watch my live streams, I just wanted more 3090s. I wish I got more in the beginning, but really uh, grateful to have this one. Unboxing says RevTech has new boards, do they? We'll have to check that out when I move over the computer here. I never got one of those. <laughs> NC mining, you you heard I was switching over to all 3050s. <laughs> yeah. All right, my dude. <laughs> uh BS, if daily mining fiat value drops too low, will it be mining as usual? Shut down, shut it all down, or power some and use the most efficient cards and write it out. Yeah, for me, I mean the efficiency level of my GPUs are really close right now. Work so hard on it. My least efficient graphics cards. If I take out the LHR stuff, my least efficient graphics cards are the 1660 Ti's and Supers, which are like a 0 0.42 on the efficiency scale. Um, the higher no the number, the better. Then we go to the 30 series cards, which are like around a 0 0.5. Maybe like high 0.4s, low 0.5. Uh, on ETH, so looking really good there. And then we go up to the 60, 6600s and 6600 XTs, which are getting close to 0.6 on ETH. Now, if you guys haven't checked out, check out my video on the 6600. 
and 6600 XT I released uh, this last week, which shows how incredible those cards are. So like the first things that would have to go are probably the LHR cards, unless I can spec mine, uh, and then the 16 series. But I feel really good about the situation I'm in. I have some, actually I have some 580s that were uh, given as part of the sponsorship deal. But as far as cards that I've actually bought myself, the 16 series would get turned off first, but those have been mining for two and a half years now. So they're ROI wide uh, and then some. Red Llama, peace brother. All right, so that is the GPUs. So uh, what we're gonna do now is open this package from Crypty. You guys check them out. And let me actually flip over to show you a little bit about this. They are a sponsor of the channel. They send me cool shirts and cool things like this. So let's go do the right thing and check them out. What's up, Fox Protocol Mining? Thanks for the super chat, man. Fox Crypto Miners Unite. That's right. Welcome to the Fox Den. All right, so Crypty, uh, I link to them whenever I wear their shirt down in my video description. So they got crypto merchandise. Um, I have a bunch of hoodies and shirts from them that I absolutely love. Mining Office of Caveman Mining have some stuff up there. But what they sent me is this crypto mystery box, which is currently on sale for $20. And that's what I have in front of me. And I don't know what's in it for real. So I figured we'll open it together. Um, but if you guys are interested, I'll leave a link uh, for Crypt for Crypty, and you guys can check it out a little bit further. So let's switch back over here. We're going to open this up, and we're going to see what we got inside. Thanks again, Crypty, for sending this over and always thinking of me. We've been working together for a while on this channel. And I don't get any money for anything that they sell. I just It was just totally fine with me. I just like their stuff and said, hey, send me some shirts and I'll wear them. And it's been a really cool relationship so far. All right, so here is the mystery box. <laughs> That's cool. From Crypty, www.crypty.co. Cool. Let's check out what we got. <laughs> All right, so actually, I'll show you guys first. This is what we got inside. Pretty cool. So let's see. So we got a Bitcoin. Open this up. <laughs> this is actually pretty cool. Uh, I like this. I like the saying on the back of it. So this is perfect because you guys know I like to have a beverage. So you got. Little Bitcoin koozie here. I like what it says on the back. If you guys see that, it says Diamond Hands. Really, really cool. Look at that. Love it. DJ Mines, what's up, brother? That's really cool. DJ Mines, let's make you a moderator, my dude. There we go. All right, let's see what else we got in here. So like we got a drawstring bag here. <laughs> this is cool too. <laughs> Little drawstring bag with Bitcoin piggy bank. You know what? My son is going to love this. This is so cool. He loves these type of bags. He had one from soccer. This is going to him and I guarantee he will bring this to school. He's like three years old. So he's like in uh, preschool and he brings stuff to school every day. And I, he's going to love this. I'm totally giving this to him tomorrow. He's going to put his little snacks in here. <laughs> That's really awesome. I love it. Love it, love it. What else we got? Oh, dude. Little sh Cardano shot glass. Wow. This is sick. This is, Dude, this is a... Are you sure this was random? Because this feels very much geared towards me. What else we got? Got a pin in here. Really cool. Oh, then got another pin. Oh, this is sweet. Little Bitcoin pin. See there. Um, and then we got a bunch of stickers. These are really cool. 
I will show you guys a GPU sticker. <laughs> All right, guys, check these out. So we got Ethereum Classic, Big Daddy Bitcoin. What's this one? <laughs> I like this one. It says, get in loser. We're going to the moon and it's a UFO with the Bitcoin logo. That's really cool. I like that one, man. Uh, and then we got a GPU stick. Oh, it's a magnet. It's GPU magnet. Even better. A little 1080 Ti action. Where am I going to put this? There we go. Solid. Really cool. So <laughs> you'll need that shot glass if you're investing in Cardano. <laughs> oh man, this is this was awesome. Um, and guys, for 20 bucks. Honestly, it's a pretty, pretty good deal for you in here. This is fun. Thank you, Crypty, for sending this over. That was a blast, guys. $19.99 up on their website, crypty.co. Uh, really cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sending that over. That was fun. That was fun. That was a good idea. All right. Let's, let's see what else is going on over here. Let me catch up on what you guys are, ch are chatting about. <laughs> uh, DJ Minds, I will marry you. Absolutely. 100%. <laughs> Magic Lucky. Pigeon Coin t-shirt. Imagine. <laughs> That's what I would do if I made those boxes and sent them out to crypto YouTubers. I would send them just dead projects. <laughs> uh, Charles, dude. Sorry, Mr. Super Chat. Let me get caught up here. Would you recommend leaning towards A2000 slash A4000 over the 6600 or 6600 XT to prepare for a post ETH 2.0 open air cooling on A series. Yeah. Ick. Um, I would, I would probably go 6600s and 6600 XTs. Resale value is going to be better than the workstation cards. I think down the road. Um, and from what I tested, the 6600 is better on Firo and Ravencoin than the A2000s. And the A2000s are only slightly better efficiency-wise on Ethereum. You're talking like a 0.58 on the 6600s and a 0 0.6, 0 0.62 on the A2000s. So really not too much more efficient, plus cooling them and resale value down the road. Uh, I still would love to get some because, like, how easy are they to power the A2000s? A4000s, probably not a great investment unless you get them at a really good price. I have some hopefully coming in soon. I have two, but I got them for a really good deal. Um, and I love just having one of everything to test out. So, <laughs> unboxing project. <laughs> Mrs. Red Fox, show up the point of view view of what point of view of what Mike is seeing when he streams. How many monitors are in your face? Uh, just there's one there, one there. That's it. But I think I'm going to get another one. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, A4000 runs really hot. Yeah, I had one that DJ Mines uh, lent me and I kept it for too long and I feel forever bad about it. Um, you had to run. I had to run that fan on this test bench. I had to run that fan at 100% just to keep it cool. <laughs> All right, let me catch up on you guys here. Uh, out of name ideas. <laughs> nice, nice name. What's a good 3080 full hash rate overclock? You're running plus 16% power and 2250 memory. For 101 megahertz. I think that's bad. So I'll tweak once I water cool it. Um, the wattage you should be getting, if you're doing like 101 mega hash, you should be pulling what, like 230 watts, is if I remember correctly. So that's what you want to judge by how much wattage you're pulling um, on that on that GPU. I think 230 is right. At 225, 240, if I'm remembering for my 3080 full hash rates. And those are getting probably like 99 mega hash. So check how much power they're drawing. Uh, Adam, yo, Mike, watching you from the UK on the night shift in the supermarket. <laughs> Dude, thanks. Thanks for tuning in, man. <laughs> Hope the night shift treats you well, brother. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> D 
DJ Mind's trying to find good deals on ASICs. My Bitcoin ASIC ain't, ain't too profitable right now. It's also not like the best one, but. Yeah, out of name ideas. You're pulling 340 watts. Yeah, I get that down. So, you, okay, so you're plus 16% power. Yeah, you got to bring that down, man. You got to um, look at locking the core clock. I have a video on this on my channel. Search something like reduce GPU wattage. Um, you can do it on Windows with T-Rex Miner, and you can do it on Hive OS. It's built in, but search lock core clock. Reduce GPU wattage. Um, I have videos on this. Other crypto YouTubers have videos on this. It'll it'll get you down to like a consistent 230 watts uh, at around 9900 mega hash. Yep. Happy dictator. What's up, dude? Says put that sucker on T Rex and lock the core. Yeah, man. Hundred uh, percent. R and Y mining. If you had, and I do have a six by 3070 Ti rig, what would you mine? Mine is mining on nice hash right now on Autolicus 2 because those cards are so hot. But I would like to put them on Sola Mining Firo along with my other rig. But I think Firo, Ravencoin are probably where I would like those cards to land. Um, I, I'm hoping to get an 8 GPU server case to throw them in because I have two others. So I don't have to open them all up. I'm thinking about that Octo Miner um, eight card one is is what I'm thinking. Actually, one of those cards is dead right now. I'm, if you guys keep see me looking over there, it's because I'm looking at that rig. I got so many cards that need work down here. I got to do a video on it. It's uh, it's gonna be like a whole day. Samir, what's up, dude? Did you have to upgrade your power circuit in your house? Uh, 200 amp panel, upgraded it when we first moved in, but that was just by chance before I even got into mining. Yeah, guys, smash the like button if you don't mind. Helps the YouTube overlords recommend my channel. Unboxing projects. What is your go-to as of today after ETH2? <laughs> Raven for life. Uh, even though I'm not mining it, Flux is the one I'm thinking about. Flux is the one I'm thinking about. Even though I'm not mining it right now. Yeah, I don't know. I can't stop thinking about it. Fish and Bob, what's up? Great channel. Looking to get into mining, PC gaming. I know I'm late. I thought I was late, dude. Don't worry. I thought I was late four years ago. Looking to pre-build. So what's my best bet? 3060, 3070, 38, or 3090 pre-build opinion. So the 3060, 3070, and 3080 are most likely going to be limited cards, which means you won't be able to mine Ethereum. If you If it's in your budget, I would go 3090 couple reasons it's not a light hash rate card so you can mine ethereum and you'll be able to mine all the other cryptocurrencies just fine it's not the most efficient when you size up all the full hash rate cards but you can't buy 30 70 30 80, 30 60 full hash rate cards new at this point and also i think the 3090 will have the best resale value down the road which is one of the reasons i'm continually looking to get them so I would go 3090 if it's within your budget, man. Plus, that would be a sick gaming PC. Automatic K beats, Octominer cases are so damn nice. They really are, man. I'm not just saying that because they sent me one. Like, they are so nice. I like, I highly recommend them. I just wish they were easier to get. So preview for you guys that are here which how many people are here that I'm going to give this preview to make sure I'm not doing too many. Let's see. Preview to 200 people, 200 people that are here. I'm going to do a 50 K giveaway, 50 K sub giveaway at some point. Um, and I was talking to Octominer and we're going to give away, it could change, but as of now, we're going to give away two X 12 ultra, Octominer cases anywhere in the world, doesn't matter where you live. And we're going to give away two of their HEPU server cases anywhere in the world, wherever you live. So I got to figure out how I'm going to do this. If you guys were a part of one of the giveaways I've done in the past, I don't really like to advertise them too highly. I like to keep it pretty quiet. So it gives a lot of the people that continually show up the best chance. 
So I got to figure out my approach with this, but the goal is to give away four Octominer cases to anywhere in the world. Um, and then also 10 swag bags which will include like t-shirts and stickers and magnets and all of that. So big thanks to Octominer for, for that. Um, so stay tuned. I'm going to work with some other probably GPU risers, uh, do some giveaways with them, do some hash power giveaways. I just, it's a lot of work to like organize it all and make it as fair as possible and avoid everybody complaining. So just bear with me, but that is one that I have locked down um, and I'm looking forward to you. So I'm a big fan of Octominer and uh, that'll be cool. So that's it. There's your preview. Hey, Red Fox, what flux node are you running right now? I'm running the middle one. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but not, I think it's the, it's the middle one, the current middle one. I don't think they switched their uh, node structure yet. Uh, okay, super chat time. DJ Death Star, do you recommend changing pads and pace on 3070 and 3080s? TI included, how much of a difference can it will make? Regular 3070, don't need to. Uh, 3070 TI, 3080 and 3080 TI, uh, you should. Unless you live in an igloo, then you probably don't. But those cards will run toasty. Um, and the T, so what it is is the 3070 Ti, 3080, and 3080 Ti, and 3090 all have GDDR6X memory in it, which just runs really freaking hot, man. Um, unless you have maybe a Strix card, which is this. This is a 3070 Ti or an EVGA for the win. You might not have to, but anything else that I've had. I have MSI, Zotac, the lower tier EVGAs like the XCs and XC3 Ultras. Um, absolutely, uh, gigabytes, yeah, 100%. Yeah, so I'm going to try to keep that giveaway as small as possible. That's that's the goal. The last giveaway I did only had like a thousand, I think it was like a thousand entries. Um, so I don't know. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. <laughs> And welcome anybody who's new to the channel. Really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe. Um, if you don't mind, hit the like button. If you guys don't know, like mining profitability is down. So us crypto YouTubers are feeling a little bit, <laughs> but still appreciate everybody coming out. Uh, Sublime, just got into mining 16800 XT. Nice, dude. Plan to sit in the silence since I don't know if mining will be worth it after ETH 2.0. Good plan. Uh, maybe. Like one thing you could always do is... People get really stuck on this, like, oh, I got to just build a rig. You don't. Like, just bu maybe buy one other GPU if it's within your budget. And then just scale. I talk about I talk about scaling in. It's what I did in the beginning. I just bought one GPU. Mine for a while until I journeyed enough coin where I was comfortable to buy another one. So I think that's always a, a good thing to do. But, I mean, you got one card. So you're you're ready to, ready to go. Like, 6800 XT, that's nice, dude. Uh, Georgie, there are places in Florida that get Florida that gets five to six cent residential year round. That's crazy. What would you buy 6,600 XTs for? Um, you know what? Let's, uh, let's switch back over to the bench. And I found, so just to give you an idea. So I'm over on Newegg's website. This, there's a, this is the, one of the cheapest 6,600s I've seen. 450. The XTs, I um, what was the one hobbyist miner just bought? I linked to him was five oh nine for an XT over on B and H. What was that? An Asus Duel or something? But the XTs, I'm like five that five oh nine was like one of the cheapest I've seen in a while. So like five fifty and less is where I'd be on those USD sixty six hundreds like four fifty four sixty. Um, and then after tax and stuff, I like the power color hellhounds I've been getting after tax and, and all that is coming in at like 500, a little below 500. The other GPU I saw, this is, I wouldn't personally buy this, but over on Newegg, this has been sitting up here for a while is an Asus Tough 1660 Ti. And I actually didn't think these cards were made new anymore. I thought I haven't seen a new 1660 Ti. Somebody did say they saw some at Micro Center. Um, $470, 
$470, guys. That is an insane price. Even like, so that is double the price that I bought my brand new 1660 Ti's for uh, two years ago, two and a half years ago. Double the price. It's crazy. Oh, I wouldn't buy that. I don't think it's going to do, it's good on ETH. Not as great as the 6600s. And the 6600s will be better cards when ETH's done. So for the same price, ah, I don't really see it worth it. Any chance Octominer will do the no order limit again? I heard that they do that, will do that around once a quarter for like a special occasion. I hear you though, man. Like, I think that I big fan of them. Uh, and I know that they like really service huge farms, huge mining farms. But they would sell so many to residential miners if we could buy just one. Matthew M, what's up, dude? <laughs> Mining office, you're in an igloo. <laughs> How's solo mining Firo going? Oh, you want to see all the heartbreak? Let me see if I can find it. Uh, yeah, you want to see this heartbreak? Look at this block. 356% luck. Oh, man. Uh, so not great in the short term. My personal luck is still really good for the last 17 blocks, 71%. And so if you're new or you haven't seen me talk about this, uh, under 100% luck score means you're getting more rewards than you statistically should be getting, which means you're more profitable than if you just mine to a pool versus solo mined. And I have a video on my uh, channel on solo mining if you haven't seen it, if you're curious. But I'm still doing really good overall, but this block just... I had to grind through that block, man. That killed me. Killed me, killed me, killed me. But still rolling. Still having a good time. Are those uh, those tough 1660 Ti's have 3060 Ti chips in them? I don't know about that, man. I think they have probably... These are probably the Hynix memory where you can like flash them or something. Right? I don't have any of those though. Would you guys buy a 1660 Super for 375? I would not. I just, I have a video testing the TI versus the Super on my channel. The, the Super does not look good after Ethereum. Um, my, yeah, the mine box. I have one of those too. Guntis from Mine Shop sent one over. Those are really nice too. They don't have like the bells and whistles that the Mine Shop uh, that the Octo Miner has when we're talking about server cases. But the honestly, the build quality of the Mine Box from Mine Shop is better than the Octo Miner, in my opinion. It's like a it feels so good. Um, but the Octo Miner has some really cool features, man. So it's just it's a little bit of a trade off there. But like, I'm a huge fan of Guntis over at uh, Mine Shop. So he's done a lot for this space. He's got a great YouTube channel. <laughs> Three mil. Is the bear market coming to town or you think we'll keep bullish in the 2022s, man? I don't know. I don't know, my friend. I'm wondering if we kind of hover around where we're at for a little while. I don't. I wonder if it'll just like go down or up, or we'll just hover at where we're at for a little while. It's hard to say. I mean, if you guys saw the mining news video I did um, yesterday, like the Intel getting into the ASIC game, like that's crazy to me. Like, that's a huge corporation. Like they made that processor. And they're getting into ASICs, like for real, not speculation. They are going to build... ASICs to mine Bitcoin and that they said they've been involved in researching cryptocurrency mining for a long, for like years. That's really cool to me. I don't know what that means for the market, but I, if, a, if a company like that is getting involved at that scale, I think that's really cool.
Oh, you guys just got a question on that. J Bane, what's up, dude? Hope uh, you had a good weekend as well. You just got a brand new 1660 Super for $200. Yo, that is a good deal. That is a good deal, my dude. Nice job on that one. Will you be buying 4,000 series cards? Maybe. I'm really curious what NVIDIA is going to do with those, LHR-wise. Exotics Mining, what's up, dude? 1660 Ti for $350. Ugh, I'm really, if I was going to buy one personally, which I, I'm kind of bored by them, I would probably go. So new, I paid 260 to 270 But that, of course, was like two and a half years ago. Ah, 350 might be all right. Three, 325 might be all right. I know it's a silly expense, but are you interested in water, water color, water coloring, water cooling some GPUs? Um, maybe as experiment down the road if I get bored. But Chump Change XD on YouTube is going to do one, so I'm looking forward to seeing him figure it out first. I know some other uh, YouTubers have, but it's not it's not a common thing. see what else if intel is smart they'll make small affordable asics for home use since that's an untapped market yeah man i don't know if they will but um that would be cool you think about like those little what are they like the gold shell miners or the dogecoin miners like that's really cool like imagine i don't know how much those pulling wattage but if you guys watched um bits be tripping did a video on the ace the intel asics and he like sized them up versus the Bitmain A6 and just did an incredible video on it. Dude, it's so smart. Um, Bits be tripping on YouTube if you don't follow him already. Um, but like as I was watching that, it goes into like there's so many chips included and each chip will do a certain amount of hash for a certain amount of watts. And it's really like just the, um, the like all those chips together is what gives you an insane hash rate. So like, yeah, like give me something that maybe runs like 30, 50 watts, put it on my office desk, doesn't generate too much heat, you know, thinking about like office spaces, like that would be, I don't know, that'd be pretty cool. I don't know how much like profit margins in something like that, but I think that would be pretty rad. I would, I would totally buy, I would, I would like gift them to people to get them involved in cryptocurrency mine. I'm like, here, plug this in, <laughs> watch my YouTube video on how to use it. Views go up, subs go up. People are involved. It's all good. Yes, NVIDIA did raise their prices of the GPUs uh, in the EU. I think just the Founder Edition ones. Um, and talking about GPU prices, so I got this article on videocards.com. It said GPU prices are slowly becoming cheaper. Um, so it says NVIDIA 30 series cards went from 185% over MSRP down to 177% over MSRP. And AMD cards went from 178 over MSRP to 167% over MSRP. Guys, it's probably because of us, because of crypto miners. Don't let anybody fool you. Um, and then, so I went and I looked a little while to see what's kind of happening the best place that I like to do that is over on good old eBay, looking at the sold listings. So I have 3090s. And you can see this Founders Edition just sold for $2,500. So that's $1,000 or $900 over MSRP. $2,700. Um, the For the Win goes for like $1,800, $1,900. So you're looking like $500 over MSRP. So we're still looking. This one sold for a lot. We're still looking a lot. Uh, over MSRP, though, it is oh, the White Strix. Oh, my God. I want that card so bad. <laughs> so we're still looking anywhere from, I don't know, we're saying like, this is, I think this one really cheap. We're still looking like $900 to $1,000 over MSRP on the 3090s right now. Oh, this is a good deal. 
This is the this is the Gigabyte Eagle. This is what I got right in front of me. That sold for pretty much almost. That sold for only a couple hundred dollars over MSRP. Probably because they know they got to replace the pads in it. Keep throwing questions up, guys. I'm still looking at chat if you got anything. Do my best to, to pay attention. So the other place I'm looking at, like looking at GPU pricing, is on StockX, which is a reseller website. And I've been following the Founders Edition cards, the 3090 specifically, and it's definitely come down. And you can see the sales going back. So if we go back to even a few days ago, we're at 2100 Last stream I did, we looked at this, we were over 2200 uh, and you can see we went down to two thousand dollars for this card. So again, then you're looking like was that four, four to five hundred dollars over MSRP. So that's certainly coming down in price. Uh, and then I went to, and looked at an older card. So I looked at some five eighty eight gigabytes. Um, those have definitely come down. If I remember right, these were like at five hundred dollars at one point. So these are in the three hundreds, high two hundreds. This one was good, 265. These cards are really coming down in price. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure those were around $500 if I remember correctly, though when you think about last bear market time, those were like 100, 150. But yeah, they're still down quite a bit. Catching up on some chat stuff here. Let's see. Uh, Troy Fox, what's up? Nice name, man. Got your first new 3060 today. Congrats, brother. Come on, miners aren't paying these prices. Some miners are. Dude, I'll tell you that um, GPU risers, I was actually surprised. Um, if you guys don't, I'm the boxes that are behind me. But GPU risers, they have a channel. Michael over there takes care of all of us YouTubers. I just heard him say during one of his builds that he was buying his GPUs from StockX for mining. But I mean, I guess one of the things too to always consider is if you're running this as a business for mining, like it's just offsetting your, your taxable income, I guess. So I don't know. And then I know Chum Change XD certainly paid a, a pretty penny for his white 3060s off eBay. So it's, some miners are doing it. Brian Hollywood, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Got to get on that shoe game. <laughs> it's crazy how all of the shoe resellers just started moving over to graphics cards. And I've heard some local prices are dropping a little bit. I looked around me. There's never anything around me. It's too, it's too dense of a population. What would you say the best new or used card for mining right now would be at, to buy 6600 regular 6600 I'm actually surprised man I did that video on the 6600 versus the XT I was surprised and like you just it's hard to think ROI right now or break even because you're all going to be like 500 days like you're going to be like two years which is fine in my opinion been there before been three year ROI before what you got to think about is surviving. So the most efficient cards is most important because if you got to turn your rigs off, then what's the point? It doesn't matter. You got to worry about surviving. So most efficient GP you can get, reasonable price. If you're looking to expand, that's what I would be doing. I mean, it's what I am doing. Um, or on the opposite end of the spectrum, if you're looking GPUs that will have you know the best resale value later, 3090 will. I'm kind of like hedging my bets here because the 6600s and the 6600 XTs, I don't think are going to have good resale value later unless crypto takes off again. Um, when I'm thinking about reselling to gamers, but the 3090s will have a good resale value later, I think. So that's what, that's what unless like the 4000 series is a huge leap, then maybe they won't. But that's what I'm thinking at least. So for me... Resale value thinking, 3090. Efficiency and survivability thinking, 6,600. That's where I'm at.
Uh, what does the 6600 do at hash weight at Ethereum hash rate wise? It's 29 mega hash about, but I like 4950 watts, man. It's insane. Yeah, and it's it's the 6600 on every single algorithm is a more efficient GPU than the 6600 XT. Please go watch my video. I put a lot of work into it, <laughs> but the 6600 is more efficient on every single algorithm than the 6600 XT. I saw somebody ask earlier in the chat. The other like um, stat to look at is your cost per one mega hash. So how much does the graphics card cost and how much mega hash does it put out? It's really valid to look at. I'm not worried about it personally right now because I'm worried about surviving. My scale is MSRP. Get GPUs at MSRP pricing and survive with the most efficient cards. But you can go look at how much it costs to get one mega hash on Ethereum or whatever coin you're looking at mining and also make decisions that way. I absolutely did in the beginning of this bull run when prices were were regular MSRP prices and in the whole past three years, but everything's so out of whack now. I'm just worried about surviving. Did you see Micro Center lifted the restriction on AMD cards? No, I did not. So what is it? You can get more than one a month now? That's rad. Um, okay, before I forget, a couple deals I found. I think I might actually pick one of these up. Platinum. I think I'm going to get, I have gold. I think I'm going to get a platinum and a titanium power supply and test them out. But platinum 1000 watt EVGA, currently $170. Um, that's a pretty good price. Normally 250 EVGA. Why I like this, and they don't have a great picture, but why I like these is that they have six uh, PCIe ports on them. A lot, of, like once you get to the 1000 watt, then you got six. So, you could easily do a six card 6600 or 6600 XT rig off this. I do uh, 1660 Ti rigs or super rigs off this. And just to show you, so that platinum is 170. And the one I usually get, which is gold, is 175. So it's actually cheaper to get the platinum one. So I think that's a good deal. There's a titanium that we looked at previously too that was pretty good. I think I might get one of each uh, and just test them out just to see the differences in efficiency uh, and wattage. So just in case you're looking for any of that stuff, a couple of deals I ran across were sent to me in my Discord. But yeah. Let's see what else you guys are chatting about. Happy to answer any more questions that you got. Open the chat. And again, welcome to anybody that's new to the channel. Appreciate you for being here. DJ, just start you right there. You can do uh, dual mining. I have a video on it on LHR cards. So I don't see many people doing that right now. Dude, hobbyist, thanks for uh, linking the video, bro. Appreciate it. Seeing if Brian got back to me. Let's see. The EVGA 1000 watt gold is 160 on Newegg right now. Nice, man. That I ha literally have like four of them uh, unopened because that's my favorite power supply. Just I stocked up on them. Now I see the platinums and titaniums going for even less. Drowsy, take it easy, brother. Thanks for coming. Thanks for all the support. Do you prefer scotch, bourbon, or whiskey? Scotch. What motherboard would you recommend for 3090s? Any six GPU mining motherboard or any sorry any six gpu motherboard that you don't have to use like uh um sata adapters or like those pcie splitters or any of that stuff uh and actually that you mentioned that let me see if i can find it i just learned about this yesterday there's this new asrock mining motherboard that I had no idea existed until somebody, yeah, here it is. Somebody commented on my video with it. It's the Q270. And please, if you have this board, I would please let me know. Let me switch this over. Have you guys seen this board? So I use the H110, which is like God tier mining motherboard of all time. And this is like a upgraded version of it. Have you guys seen this? So a couple things they've done, they've 
separated the PCIe slots so they're not shorting each other themselves out, which I never had a problem with, but people have. Um, it's added onboard HDMI, which the current version does not, has DVI, so I'm always using an adapter on it. So where did that go? So yeah, onboard HDMI there. But yeah, I think that's like the biggest change is separating the PCIe slots. Um, it still uses, I think this is the same generation Intel chips, which is interesting. And I think everything else is the same. One thing I find hilarious on these boards is 7.1, like surround sound audio. Like who's mining with this? <laughs> That's got like also watching a, a movie with surround sound going. But yeah, this, uh, <laughs> oh, that cracks me up. This board looks great. I, I would love to get one of these. They're pricey though. And I can't see many of them available, like $280, $270. Memory C has them. Um, I saw them on new eggs shipped by memory C, but they're like that same price. So I don't know. Have you guys seen that? I'm curious. Uh, Emmanuel, thanks for the super chat. Thanks for answering my question. What's a fair price for new or used 6600? I'm thinking like 450, 460, 470 new, used, sub 450. What do you think NVIDIA wants when they launch GPUs like the 3050? I mean, the cost of GPU is too expensive. I don't know, man. I think it's just like 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 saturate the market because people will try to get anything they can. I thought the same thing with the 6500 XT. Like, who is this card for? Yet they're sold out. I just don't understand who those cards are for. Like, the tech YouTubers rip it apart. I just don't, I really don't know. It's not for miners. It's not for gamers. It's not for, you know, creators. Who's it for? TPS Meyer, that 901 core trick for the 6600 was a nice tip in that video. Thanks, man. Yeah, I can't take any credit for that. Um, but if you guys have 6600s, check that video out because you'll pull the wattage down, probably like 510 watts per GPU. But that was um, two people in my Discord that figured that out. It's really cool, man. Why do you use these motherboards instead of BTC S37s? It's just, I I had so many of them from the bear market. I paid um, anywhere from $18 to $30. $18 for used, $30 for new for the uh, H110, previous version of those motherboards we were just looking at. And I just stocked up on them. So I just had them around. I haven't bought any new any of them new since uh, the, the bull run. <laughs> Detroit Irish, what's up? Austin E, what's up? Cheers, anybody. I'm running out. It means the stream's going to be ending soonish. You got to hydrate, though. Rondi, what's up? What's up, Rondi? Pretty much in the questions section of the stream because I have nothing else to talk about with you guys. So see what you guys want to talk about. Chili, what's up? We talked to Octomire for a while, my friend. I don't know if you were here. <laughs> 6500 XT is for my grandma. 6500s are the new 1030s. Oh my God, you're killing me. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> For people that play Candy Crush Saga. <laughs> oh man. Oh, it killed me. <laughs> oh man. Controlled chaos. What's up, dude? Can't afford a 3080. You mine with a 1070. Do most people here have newer cards? What do you got? What's the oldest card that you guys have? Blow up the chat for controlled chaos. Oldest card you currently have that is mining. 
My oldest cards I have mining are the uh, RX 580s. Oldest ones you have that are currently mining, blow up the chat for controlled chaos. He's got a 1070. Is he alone? How we doing? Once you go server cases, you can never go back. Dude, 100%. 100%. Out of name ideas, thanks to the super chat. Now at 220 watts for 99 mega hash. Yeah, dude, that's so cool. In stream, we got him using lock core clock and dropping his wattage on his 3080 all the way down. All right, let's see. We got 1063 gigabyte Detroit Irish. You're mining with that? What are you mining, man? RX 580s, 10, 1050 Ti, 1070 Ti, 470s, 480s. Man. 3060. All right, so yeah, some new ones. GT240. No, you're not. Get out of here. So we got some. We got some of those Polaris cards in here, which are the 470s, 480s, 570s, 580s, 1080s. Cool. Red Devil 580s. Sick cards. 1650s, 1070s. You are not. Are you really mining with a 770? <laughs> There's no way. What could you possibly be mining with that? That was my first GPU. You know that. GTX 770 EVGA. I think it's still kicking somewhere at my friend's house. You got a you got a Strix R9 380. Man. GTX 970, I think. Yeah, you could still be mining on that though, I think, right? <laughs> oh man, 1060 is running ETH right now. Oh, you're running flux on that. On that 1063 gigabyte. So we got some we got a lot of 10 series. A lot of 10 series in there. Detroit Irish, your 1063 gigabytes on nice hash. Damn, so we got from 3070s all the way down to RX 550s. Man, that's crazy. As long as it's profitable, right? Go seven. What's up, dude? Long time no watch. You still in the buying phase? If still, if so, would you buy used 30 series GPUs? I'm still buying out as heavy. I'm focusing on specific cards which are 3090s that you see there, new, and then 6600s would be the other ones, I think. Got some 1070s on Flux, 390s. Man. Yeah, nine, 900 series still mine, but are very power inefficient. Man. Frosty sold his 5700 XT, so the oldest he has is 3070. Nice, dude. I've mentioned earlier, and I'm, I'm thinking about selling my 5700s. 21 souls for flux on the 1063 gigabyte. Not bad, dude. Someone said they were running a 3, 390. Hey, man, up until recently, Hobbyist Miner was running 30, 390s, so. <laughs> oh, man. Do you know if you get a flux bonus for holding it in Zelcore when they do a parallel asset drop? I don't think so. Albert, what's up, dude? Your RX 550s are running that new ALF something coin. Got it, got it, got it. What about non-LHR cards near MSRP, Red Fox? I've seen people paying like, I don't know. I haven't bought a non-LHR card in a while. I was getting them open box, but that's kind of dried up. Non-LHR cards, are I don't know. They're tough to price used. I don't know, man. I've seen people get in the 3080s, I think, for like 1,500 used. Um, one of the guys in my Discord is he's an eBay shark, and he'll go on there and he'll find cards that are titled as LHR, but then look at the pictures and look at the might be giving away his secret, so I hope he doesn't hate me. He'll look at the pictures and he'll look at the UPC and the part numbers to see that the lister was mistaken and they're actually full hash rate cards and he'll wind up getting them at a little lower price um, than he probably would have if they were listed full hash rate. Would you just try and buy the cheapest 6600? Yes. there I have all different ones, man, from the cheapest, like the Power Color Fighters to the more expensive ones, and they all are exactly the same. They're lo such low power cards that pooling and all that stuff really hasn't, Impact, doesn't have a big impact like it would on maybe like 3080s or 3090s or the T 70 TIs or 80 TIs. So, yeah.
<laughs> EJ, don't tell him. Don't tell Austin. Give out his secret. That's a lot of work. I don't think I've definitely not put in that work. I don't think anybody else here is putting that work. For some reason, he can sit there and put in all that work. That's funny. <laughs> Shout out Austin. <laughs> Thinking about selling all your GPUs, 1060, 2080 Super, and 3080 Ti's to jump into the 3060s because of efficiency. 1060s I'd, I would get rid of, man, in my opinion. 2080 Supers I heard do good on Flux, so... Yeah. I might hold on to those. 3080 Ti's, I like mine. It's hard to say. What would be a good price for 6600? I talked about that earlier, like 450, 460. I think it's probably pretty good. Unboxing project. What's in the Black Yeti? It's just water, man. Just water. It's just water. I gotta get hydrated. I gotta I gotta work tomorrow. Are you saving money after ETH 2.0 to buy GPUs? I don't think so. I don't think I I don't I really haven't thought about it, man. I don't think so. Joey the same. Peace, brother. Thanks for coming. Poser, what's up, dude? Thanks for being here. Thanks for subbing. Hey, coming to hang out with us. And anybody that's new, my name is Mike. Been mining for like four years. Uh, started the YouTube channel a year ago. Let's try to teach some things that I learned, but we won't try to take ourselves too seriously around here and just have some fun. But thanks for anybody new. Appreciate you. Trevor, are you in Canada or USA? I am USA, East Coast. Had bad. Troy says he's had bad luck on used GPU, sticking to new from now on. I've had pretty good luck. I haven't bought a lot of used. I probably have. I buy a lot of used like uh, motherboards and stuff. Processors I bought used. GPUs are probably mostly new. There's probably like. I mean, I had eight RX 580s, but those were a sponsorship deal. And actually one of them doesn't work. I got to figure that out. Um, and I bought, I think, a 1660 Ti or Super used on eBay. That's still kicking butt, but not too much. Brian Hollywood, thanks for the super chat. Thanks for always be, being entertaining. Thanks for coming to support, my dude. Appreciate you. Go seven. Yeah, DM me on Discord. If anybody wants to DM me, just DM me. I'll, I'll get to you as I can. I don't have too many come in. Detroit Irish, how far from a Firo node? I think I'm 60% of the way there. Why did Raven become so unpopular? I just think um, there's not a lot of like spotlight on whatever development is happening on there. And I'm, I'm speaking as somebody who likes Ravencoin. Like I haven't gone and looked, but like even in like there's no headlines about Ravencoin, about what's happening there. Um, I just don't see a buzz. So I'm not sure what development is, is really occurring on the project. Plus that algorithm, many people who got into mining this year found that it is really unfriendly the GPUs and don't necessarily understand why it's a good algorithm in the long run because it helps level the playing field between GPUs and ASIC miners. And like, I don't want to go on a huge tangent here, but one of the things that was really difficult before this bull run, before the last year, year and a half, is GPU miners would, would have a coin. This would be Flux known as Zellcash back then. This would be Ravencoin, a bunch of others. Monero at one point. Others I'm forgetting. All, all the Equihash-based algorithms like Zcash, um, Horizon, you know, all of that stuff would be profitable for GPUs. But what would happen is ASICs would be built and it would take over. And that would be it. And then you wouldn't be able to mine with your graphics cards anymore. And then your profitability sucks. So 
the ProgPow algorithm was built, and this is what Ravencoin was built on and Fear was built on to help level the playing field because the problem was is that ASICs would be so much more efficient. They would just crush GPUs. So like this GPU could maybe mine one of those algorithms fine, but an ASIC could do it a thousand, you know, not that, maybe a maybe hundred times more efficient just for the argument's sake. And that would just defeat GPU miners. So why the Ravencoin algorithm and the Firo algorithm is good is ASICs could be built for it, but they're not a hundred times more efficient. They're maybe two times more efficient than a GPU, which then, you know, there's an argument to be made there. So maybe it's like ASIC manufacturers, maybe just don't even want to build the ASICs for it because it's not that much more efficient than a GPU. And if the ASIC is built, it doesn't completely destroy the profitability of a GPU. So that's some things, uh, at least as far as like, that algorithm is great for those reasons, but for the reasons it's great is the reasons it runs really hot. Uh, all right, some super chats coming in. Thanks, guys. Let's see. What did I miss? Troy Fox, thanks for the super chat. Says, thanks, Mike. Keep all the good content. Appreciate you for stopping by. Thank you very much. Flux will replace Ethereum. Man, if that happens, I just have... Not financial advice. I just have this... Once that once Flux went to the moon, because it went to the moon, guys, in price, that's when I first started thinking like, whoa, could that actually happen? Could that happen? <laughs> Chili Mining. What's up, brother? You don't have to do that. I appreciate you. Thanks for the super chat. You always make time for me. Appreciate you. Dude, I appreciate you, man. I was I was thinking back to the first time we chatted, actually, as um I'm so proud of you, man, for what you're doing right now uh, with with Octominer and all that. It's so cool. But I was thinking about the first time we were chatting. It was right here. Um, and we were just talking over Discord chat. I don't even know how many subs I had at that point. I was, I was thinking about that the other day. But me and you go back, man. Super cool. But you don't have to do that. I appreciate you, man. Big time. Thank you so much. Thanks for taking care of me uh, and everybody else now. Uh. Pocket change, what up? <laughs> uh, Georgie what says, what someone needs to create is a modular style ASIC to conserve on space and appeal to home miners, gradually trying, gradually trying to upgrade. It's a, it's a valid point. One thing that I learned from Bitsby Trippin the other day and watching his video on the Intel ASIC is that so many, like when you think about Bitcoin mining farms, right? These industrial warehouses, they are literally, they are built around the form factor of the current ASICs. Like think about shelving space, electricity, like everything is built around the current current form factor of the, what are we at? S19s right now, I think, or the previous generation ASICs even. And so like, and this is what uh, he, uh, Bitsby Tripp and Carter was talking about with the Intel ASIC was, is Intel just going to follow that form factor because it would be so easy for these mining farms to just rotate out the existing ASICs and rotate in Intel ASICs? Or is it going to be a completely different form factor, which then means these huge Bitcoin mining farms got to redo their infrastructure, which like, who wants to do that? It's like if they made a GPU a different size and you had to like buy, I don't know, this is probably the worst analogy, buy like different motherboards or different cases or different cables, all the like, and just had to completely redo everything. Like that would suck. You know, so we'll see what happens. Bill Davidson, thanks for the super chat, man. Appreciate you. And you guys are crushing it. I, I, this is a great live stream. Appreciate everybody being here. What are your thoughts on the 1660 Super going into ETH 2.0? Not, uh, not great. Not great. I did a video on the TI versus the Super if you want to check it out. <laughs> when I look at my GPU, I lose sensation in my leg. Is this normal? <laughs> oh man that's funny <laughs> sorry if i missed anybody's uh questions or tags I'm trying to keep up the best i can go for just a little bit longer make sure i don't miss anything
So any any last minute questions you guys got, throw them in there. Welcome to anybody that's new. And thank you for all the the old heads who con uh, constantly come to, to hang out with me. I appreciate it. So I'll go for a few more minutes and just make sure I don't miss any questions. A lot of, lot of questions on the 6600 still rolling in. Guys, the 6600 is an insane card, in my opinion. Go check out my video on the 6600 versus the 6600 XT from this last week. Don't sleep on that card. I've been saying it for a while. Do not sleep on the 6600. Grayson, are you still using Stellar? Uh, I am, though I'm also using Nova more right now. Nova, these are bots to buy GPUs if you guys aren't familiar. Nova just had their 1.0 launch. And I just, actually, I just got it. It didn't come in yet. I just got a really cheap Gigabyte Eagle 6600 using Nova from Amazon. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, but Stellar, I I got to like set it up again. Let's see. Uh, what do you think about Windows mining? Half my rigs are still on Windows. Half of them are in Hive OS. Probably going to move everything over soon, but I used Windows for all my NVIDIA mining for almost four years exclusively. My AMD rigs have always been on Hive OS. It's just easier. How big is your mining farm now? Still got, I think I got like 103 GPUs running uh, and another like 20 to get running. Thanks, Matt. Thanks for the kind words, buddy. <laughs> oh, this is right. Yeah, Spurious called this out. I heard uh, ETH two like they don't want to be called e it doesn't want to be called ETH two anymore or ETH two point oh. It's also ETH 2.0 is not the merge, which is 100% true. The merge is when proof of work gets turned off and then ETH 2 is later. But I heard they like removed references and they want to be called ETH 2, but I haven't got to look into that yet. Grayson, um, if you're not, dude, join my Discord and we can chat about GPU botting. Because there's another solution besides even buying bots that might be helpful for you. No, you should not power two 6600s using one PCIe cable. <laughs> Bill, thanks for coming to hang. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. Thank you, everybody, for being here. We went quite a while, much longer than I thought I was going to or planned on doing. Um, this week on the channel, I have a couple things coming up. We're going to have the next episode of Mining Roundtable. is going to be releasing either tomorrow or Tuesday. Um, probably tomorrow. And then I have a video I'm really excited about on February 1st. It's in partnership with the Meter Box. I'll be releasing this. And it's going to be going over all of the ways that I measure mining rig power and GPU power. So all the gadgets I have, meter boxes I've built, all of that. And that is going to coincide with a uh, entry into a giveaway for a 6600 that the meter box is doing. So stay tuned for that video. I will be uh, releasing all the information on how you can be a part of that giveaway with the meter box. All that stuff will be coming this week. And I'm sure more stuff that I haven't even thought of yet. But Thank you, everybody, for being here. Appreciate all the support, as always. Hope you had a really great weekend. Hope you have a fantastic week ahead. Let's keep an eye on those crypto prices. Keep an eye on those GPU prices. Join my Discord if you want to chat. We'll get the links thrown up in the chat here, and they'll be in the video description. And let me know uh, if you need anything. Love you guys. Love the support. Thanks for coming out. I'll see you in the next live stream. I'll see you in the next video. Peace, and enjoy the tune on the way out. Peace, everybody. Proof of work. Shocked.
Mega Hash Mega Hash Mega Hash Proof of Work At Hash Easy Hash MTP Octopus Pong Pound Autoecus Equihash Shop 2 56 Proof of work.